Okay, so it rained last night. I'm gonna go ahead and take full advantage and air out my house. Make sure that all of those odors are cleared out. I open all of the windows. And since it's rained, the pollen count is low and the air is clean. And that way I won't be bringing allergens so much so into my home. The next thing I like to do is after cleaning my countertops really well and disinfecting them, cleaning out my sink, I like to run hot, extremely hot water and then add a fragrance a cleaner of choice. Today I chose the Mrs. Myers Clean Day. I absolutely love the clean smell this leaves and I just pour a little bit into that water. I don't add a lot of water. And next, you guys, I don't have pillows that I can just take off the covers and wash. I don't use these often. I'm often changing them, but I do use this disinfectant spray to keep them fresh. Next up is I love diffusers. I have these all over my house, different styles, different colors. You can just add whatever scent you feel like for the day. I like essential oils. Um and I just enjoy those. Sometimes I like those, and sometimes I just want the scent of candles. And right now I am into gourmand scents. I absolutely love my house to smell like these. It smells so, so good. And I'll just light several of these throughout the home. And yeah, we just relax and truly enjoy it. What's up you guys now that we're back outside we're starting to socialize a little bit more we're starting to invite people over to our homes you know I decided I got to do a few things to make sure that my house is right have you ever walked in somebody's house and just noticed a scent it may maybe smell like people food smells like old food food but nobody's cooking <laughs> anything like that so I realized that you know even though I might not smell it my home has a smell too it's just I don't know it because I'm here you get immune to your own smells right so that's why I say it's really good to go ahead and air out my home and you know and I like to do that like I said after it rained because I have allergies very bad allergies I don't have time to, you know, to be dealing with that. So airing out my home, making sure the house is clean. I like to make sure I'm mopping, wiping everything down, you know, to get those food odors out, food odors. And if you sit down, lay down on your couch and you're not clean, it could leave an odor, you know, anybody in, anybody in the family. A lot of people now are able to take off their sofa covers and wash them. I'm not able to do that. I only have a pleather. It's not leather, <laughs> but I have a pleather sofa. So what I do is just take a little of this Murphy's um, wood or oil cleaner and on a rag. And I just wipe down my entire sofa or furniture. And you guys, there's no smell. It takes all of the smell out. I love doing that. Um, but yeah, starting with a clean slate makes a totally huge difference. It makes a big difference in your home. So now just to get into some of the stuff that I use this for as my diffuser, I have a whole collection of essential oils. But the one that I've been using lately is this kit. I can't even find all of them because I have them all over the house. Um, and I have diffusers in every room. But this one I got from TJ Maxx for $16.99. And this is one of my favorites because it has so many different oils in here. Here they are. They have so many. Okay, this one is peppermint. We have um, deep muscle, lavender, bergamot, rosemary, orange, eucalyptus, Detox, relax, rejuvenate, peppermint, breathe easy. <laughs> I mean, they have, have them pretty much for everything. And some are a higher quality than others. Um, but as far as my diffuser, I actually love these. 
and this one is by Personic. But um, yeah, I actually love the quality of these and they smell so good. It doesn't take but three or four drops in fresh water. I do have to clean my um, diffusers regularly because I noticed that it's not a mold, but it could leave a film um, around the uh, where the water was. So I go ahead and clean those regularly. I clean it with soap and water before I reuse just to make sure that, you know, everything is clean. But I love using diffusers. Now we also have wall plugins. If I do use those, um, I use the bamboo scent because it's light. Like I said, I have allergies and I have to be very careful. Some things are just too strong for me. They are too strong. I cannot do it. it it'll take me out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I really try not to use those that much, but sometimes we do. But like I, when I do use them, I use the bamboo scent because it's light and clean and fresh. And it helps my, has my whole home smelling amazing, but it's not too much for me. Now, this is something that my husband bought. We do use this. And it's like an automate, automatic sprayer. And we have several of these too. My power just blasted. Did y'all see that? <laughs> okay, so this is an automatic air, air freshener. See, it has like this little bottle in here. And it has the batteries in the back. But you can turn it on or off when you want it to spray. So take for instance, if I turn this on, it'll be a puff. See how that blue light lights up? And there you go. There's the puff. Now this is very nice because it's very potent. It smells amazing, but it only goes off every now and then. It'll just put the fragrance out every now and then. It's not a lot and you can control how much you want it to uh, go off I love these things um, and it's not too much you can put it where you want if you don't need it too close to you you can put it away if you want it closer you can put it you know closer to you you can have as many out as you want same fragrance different fragrances but um, these are the fragrances that uh, he chose this is pink papaya and passion fruit and this one is tranquil waters and sky so yeah you could just get any kind of scent you can scratch it to see if um, that's something you like or not and before you purchase it so I think that's good so yeah those things right there are amazing um, I had mentioned in another video that um, my stepdaughter has been she has made her own candle she's made her own candle line and they are amazing um this one's called cinnabon it smells so good cinnabon i have to leave her link down below and then she's got caramel nut muffin mm, i just love candles we have candles all over the house y'all they're all over the house these smell good, but my favorite, I think, is the blueberry pancake. I'm into the gourmands. Oh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and light this one up. I'm gonna have to go ahead and light this one up. Give me a second. I'm gonna light this one up. My favorite is this blueberry pancake. Oh, I love the way it smells. And since I already got some waffles burning over there, mm, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. It smells so good. Um, she's got that one. What else does she have? She has spring day. It smells good. It smells floral. And then uh, she's got cola and vanilla. Now that's that one is different. It smells like cola to me. It smells like Coke, like Coca-Cola. But yeah, those are some nice candles that I have around the home. And you know, I also have a lot of everybody has the um Everybody has the USA candles from Walmart. Now these to me, it smells amazing, but when I light it, because I've been using Bath and Body Works candle, and that's very wick too. If this one isn't as strong, there are some that are stronger than others. Some scents are stronger than others. I have some back there in the bedroom that are this brand and they smell amazing, smell up the whole house. But this one is sugar berries. I really got it to go in my bathroom that I redecorated because it's this color. 
and it does smell good don't get me wrong it smells good but it's just not as strong as i thought it would be because i have some that you know you just take the cover off and it's lit you know what i'm saying that's what i like now i am into the gourmand scents from um bath and body works and you can see i already uh lit one gourmand scent and this one is strawberry pound cake oh smells so good sometimes i have them all going in the living room and this is pumpkin pecan waffles and i think that one was blueberry waffle i can't remember but i love the gourmand scents now it just gives a warm cozy feeling to my home you know and we were sitting down watching tv last night just burning candles and eating pizza and just enjoying you know our time and it's something about that it just makes it a little bit special when you have your candles burning it's kind of romantic kind of you know it's real nice but um here's another i'm gonna get me a ton of these these candles when they go on sale next time because i absolutely love these bath and body works candles you guys now this is sweater weather i really haven't burned this one that much but a lot of people said they like it i haven't really tried this one um let's see here i got mahogany balsam now that one it smells a little bit manly to me so i may end up giving this one to my husband so he could you know put it in his um room where he his music room where he relaxes and everything um oh here's a strawberry pound cake oh love 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 strawberry pound cake another gum mind one and uh this one is turquoise waters i like this one i do like this one it smells it smells reminds me of something from my childhood i can't remember what it is but it's just it's just a soft soft smell i like this one it's kind of clean um and it kind of smells like outside. <laughs> it kind of maybe reminds me of some weather, sweater weather. A little bit of outside, something outside with it. But I do like this one too. I might have to burn those together and see how that works. And um, this is another one of my favorite. I almost burned it up. And this is tuber tuberose and white wood. Oh, I love this one. It smells so good to me. But you guys, candles. Um, after your home is clean, burning a candle, there is nothing like it. I enjoy that. There's nothing like it to relax. And it's just like seeing good for your hard work. I just really, really enjoying it. Now, another thing I wanted to tell you guys, that spray that I was spraying on those pillows. It's this Odo band. And even on your, your like when you're changing your sheets, if you want to spray down your mattress cover, your comforter, whatever, in between washes, this stuff works really good. It smells good, too. It says it's a disinfecting air, air freshener, but I ask you, I really, really like this. And it gives a clean scent. Now, there are other fragrances you can use um, for your materials or fabrics in your home. There are so many different things. I have a lot of them, you guys, but I just couldn't have, I really didn't have time. I'm rushing to film this video. There are so many other ones I have, but here's a mahogany teakwood scent. Um, I like this one too. Sometimes I'll just spray down the bedroom in this if you like mahogany teakwood. Um, and this is by Abby and Sullivan. And I probably got this at TJ Maxx as well. I can't remember. I don't know. Um, and then there's a Fabrice Unstoppables. If you like the scent of that, uh, this one's Air Paradise. This is not my favorite by Unstoppables. Um, I think I like the purple one i can't remember but uh this one's good too i just got it on sale for half of 360 so i grabbed as many cans as i could but um sometimes i'll use this too um just to spray on my fabrics just to um just to freshen things up uh next you guys i wanted to tell you i don't know if you guys have tried the mainstay um, I've used, I've had every scent from them, and I like all of them. They are very potent. This is from um, Walmart. Their mainstay deodorizing um, scents. This one's Cozy Comfort. Um, this one's Hazelnut Cream. Um, Fall Farmhouse. I had some that were very, very, very good scents. These are nice. They're all nice. 
but uh, for the price, they're only like $2 and something, and the smell is very potent. You might want to try these out because, like I said, for the price, Walmart brand, yes, their scents are pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Um, next up, you guys, and lastly, go to TJ Maxx. If you can find their scents, these are amazing. I've lost two of them. I can't find them. My husband don't know where they are. But their scents are so good for $4. And when I tell you their unusual scents, like this white zen, y'all, oh my goodness. This white zen. Oh my goodness. It's my absolute favorite. I keep going back trying to find this and there are no more <laughs> there are no more but the freshness the softness the cleanness is amazing I'm, i might have to go online and see if i can order these it says ap home fragrance i don't know if that's who make it but it's absolute yes it's uh, ap home fragrance ap fragrance i'm gonna go online and see if i can order these i just don't know how much it'll cost I could get a TJ Maxx for like four dollars. So uh, for this price, I know it's going to be more expensive if I go online. And here is another one, and it's by AP Fragrance too. You guys check out AP Fragrance. It's APFragrance.com. Yeah, I don't. Um, www.APFragrance.com. They have amazing scents. And here's one piece. It smells so good. I have so many of these, you guys. I just can't find them right now. But if you're ever at your TJ Maxx, grab them up, smell them, see if you like them, grab them up. They're potent and the smells are unique for your home. Smell amazing. That's going to be pretty much it for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you some things that I do that make my house feel like a home, that make me enjoy being home when I'm off. You know, it's, it takes a little work, but yeah, we all have to do it anyway, right? And it just makes your house smell so good, clean, fresh, and homey. So please leave a comment down below, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Take care.